How much will 100,000 Jasmine potentially be worth in 2025? In today's video, let's find out. But keep in mind, all hypothetical scenarios, absolutely no guarantee that any of it is going to happen. And also, I'm not a financial advisor. But with that being said, 100,000 Jasmine as of right now is worth $2,000. And if Jasmine were to, let's say, go to the price of 50 cents, that would be a 25x from here. And at that point, 100,000 Jasmine would be worth $50,000. God, I... And personally speaking, do I think that 50 cents is realistic for Jasmine during this bull run? I do think so, because I do believe that Jasmine is a pioneer. You know, I do believe that it has somewhat of a first mover's advantage. Why is that? It's because, as we all know, Jasmine focused on decentralizing data storage. But here's the thing. Not many good projects out there are focused on decentralizing data storage. I mean, for instance, we do have some good competitors. We take a look at Arweave, Fogcoin, Storage, Sciacoin. But other than that, right, really begins to fall off a cliff, much like Snoop Dogg's hairline, which is hanging on for dear life. That's very embarrassing. Much like in the world of projects that are focused on decentralizing data storage, just not many good ones out there. But I think this is going to play to the benefit of something like Jasmine because imagine, right? Once enterprises start fully adopting decentralized data storage solutions, guess who's going to be there to catch the wave? It's Jasmine. Because again, right? It's positioning itself at a time right now when there isn't that many good competitors. So then again, right? When the adoption kicks in, Jasmine is going to be one of the few that really could gain mass adoption. And this really emulates something like Amazon, in my opinion. Now, I'm not going to say that Jasmine is going to become the next Amazon. I'm not saying that. But you take a look at Amazon. It benefited, right, greatly by launching in the 90s. Imagine if Jeff Bezos launched Amazon today. I mean, God, I wouldn't work out too well, in my opinion. You know, launching back in the 90s, I think, gave it such an amazing advantage because at that time, not many good competitors. Again, much like Jasmine. The way I view it is that in the world of decentralized data storage solutions, as of right now, it's like kind of like the 90s, if you know what I mean. It very early in its stage, in my opinion. And keep in mind, decentralizing data storage does bring a lot of great benefits to the data storage market because typically data storage is, as of right now, centralized, usually controlled by a single entity, usually a single point of failure, which I think people don't like that. However, through decentralized data storage, this is no longer a problem. You know, that's how amazing it is. Furthermore, Jasmine, first ever legally compliant cryptocurrency in the country of Japan, which is very impressive. And its management team is filled with multiple individuals who've had many years of work experience holding high positions at Sony. So that's very impressive. And yeah, I'm talking about Sony. That's how amazing the team is. So when it comes to Jasmine, I think it's pretty much a complete project. You know, I think it's very rare we see a project that's somewhat of an early pioneer with an amazing team, with an amazing use case, and also on top of that, first ever legally compliant cryptocurrency in the country of Japan. I mean, God, I, that's insane if you ask me. So Jasmine at the price of 50 cents during this bull run, I don't see why not. Now, I do want to take a look at the next price target for Jasmine, and that is Jasmine at the price of 80 cents. And at that point, 100,000 Jasmine would be worth $80,000. And do I think this is realistic? Yes, I do. Because I do believe that Jasmine, again, it's focused on the right market. But I think oftentimes people underestimate the potential of the data storage market. But I don't. Because according to Fortune Business Insights, the data storage market could be worth nearly $800 billion by 2030. I mean, God, I, oh, ha. You know, that's just six years away at this point. That's bigger than a lot of countries' GDP. You got to think about that, right? So the data storage market, it's no joke. And Jasmine, it's clearly focused on the right market. I do believe that as the data storage market continues to grow, I think so will fantastic projects, much like Jasmine, that are focused on the data storage market. But again, right, that added cherry on top hashtag Salt Bay, if you know what I mean, is the fact that it is focused on decentralizing data storage. So again, that's very impressive. And Jasmine at the price of 80 cents, I don't see why it's too outlandish. God, I, during this bull run, of course. And now I do want to take a look at the final price target for Jasmine. And that is Jasmine at the price of a dollar. 
Poha carayo. Now, this may sound insane and gigantic. That's what she said to some people. But I don't because as of right now, more people than ever before in history owning cryptocurrencies, around 575 million to be exact, which is insane. And more institutional investors than ever before. More enterprise adoption than ever before as well. So, and of course, that's with blockchain technology. But yeah, when I have all of these factors into consideration, you know, this really, in my opinion, makes for a recipe for success in terms of how massive this poor run could potentially be. Because again, right, when you have more people than ever before owning cryptocurrencies, you know, more enterprise adoption than ever before. I mean, man, really the sky's the limit. So this altcoin season could be insane. I don't see why Jasmine at the price of a dollar is that unrealistic. You know, especially when that FOMO really kicks in, you know, the bull run really at its peak. Why not, right? When you have more people than ever before in history owning cryptocurrencies, I could very well see it being a possibility. Now, the peak of the altcoin season, in my opinion, it's going to take some time though, because as we all know, historically speaking, altcoins, they either have reached their peak in some most amazing cases, six months after a Bitcoin halving event, and even in some extreme cases, 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event. And of course, this is generally speaking, there are some exceptions. But let's say we take the general example, right? Either 6 to 18 months, that's still quite a while because you take into consideration how the Bitcoin halving event, of course, is just a number of days away at this point. If you want to know the exact amount of days, you can always take a look at CoinMarketCap. But yeah, it's very close as of right now. So either 6 to 18 months after this April, that again, that's still quite a while. Now, let's say we don't take the most bullish case scenario, which is 6 months. We don't take a look at the most extreme example, 18 months. Let's say we use a middle ground. Let's say 12 months, right? That's still potentially April of 2025. So that's still quite a while when it comes to Jasmine to, you know, truly showcase what it's capable of. So in my opinion, when people are impatient, they're saying, wow, Jasmine hasn't reached the price of a dollar yet. Well, yeah, historically speaking, this isn't the time yet. That's what she said. There's still some time. But again, patience is key. I think it's important to have emotional stamina because as of right now, you know, when it comes to cryptos in general, we're seeing a lot of them pull back, right? So a lot of people, they're angry. But again, patience is key. You know, there's a saying that comes to the tune of, you know, I don't know the exact saying, but it's saying that it's always darkest right before the dawn or whatever like that. But you get my point, right? It's always going to seem very bad before things get good. But in my opinion, when things become do amazing, all of those Jasmine critics, they're going to come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma because if Jasmine goes to the price of a dollar, carayo, you know, they're going to start begging for that lead the captain, use Broadworth extender and G string. Carayo. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value for this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also on top of that, make sure to check out this very fantastic video. I think you all would really love it. It's been lead the captain. And I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.